as I generally do, and I'm doing that now. Uh, so I'm going to go to whiteboards. It's going to be a short session today. Um, we're going to talk about an assignment and a lab. So that's kind of where we're going to be uh, right now for this uh, for this lecture. So can everyone see my screen? Yeah. All right, let me see here. Go ahead and get me a pen. All right, so here we go. One assignment. You guys can probably write on this, can't you? Yeah, all right, let's not be doing too much of that. Can you erase that, please? <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the assignment. Last quarter, we learned about BJTs. Remember what those are? Bipolar junction. Transistors. Okay, and basically the two that we looked at looked like this or like this, right? NPN, PNP. Okay, there is a whole nother type or I guess you could call them a family of transistors called FET. Field effect. Transistors. Underneath that, there are things like MOSFETs, JFET. And there are some others. Okay. Now, these we have discussed. These we have not. So, are you ready for the bad news? The Tuesday, bad news Tuesday? Okay, so compare these technologies. What are the differences between them? And uh, let's also put in here BJT. Because I want a comparison also between these things and what we've already covered, which is BJTs. What are the differences and similarities? And most importantly, where and when are they used? Okay, instructions for writing a paper. How to write a technical brief Okay, because in Landon's world, there is no such thing as a research paper. 
but that's what sounds familiar to everybody. But what I really want is a technical brief. All right, what is a technical brief? Who can give me some idea of what I mean by a technical brief? It's less about telling you about it as is it, it's more about showing you the what the thing is and how it works. Okay, that's a good start. Someone else, you know, this works well. Uh, just what if you have have something that you want to say, drag your name to the middle, and then I'll call on you, and that'll keep us from having that echo echo issue. So I think everybody has a, a mouse or whatever on there, right? So Jake, what do you got? I see your name popping around there. You'll have to unmute yourself. Sorry, I was just showing the guys how to do it. Yeah, if you can drag your, drag your you mouse. Drag, drag your video, basically. All right, I see Ben there. I feel like I'm on Marampa Room. I just saw Ben there. So if you have something to add, we're talking about technical brief. What do we mean by technical brief? I guess we just chime in then. So other than showing you how it works and where it's used, it's specifications as well, and then comparative items that might be less expensive or more expensive. All right, but that can also be done in a research paper. Correct. But it's just the form. I think it's more about the format in which it's presented. Is it a paper without the fluff and just like straight to the point about what it does? No fluff. No MLA format crap. Okay, like Joe Friday said, just the facts. Okay, that's all I want. I want the facts. I don't want opinions. I don't want history. I don't want, Ill you know, I don't want a whole bunch of stuff that people tend to use when you say, well, I want it to be 500 words. No, I want the information. I've outlined what information I need down here. However long it needs to be to get that information across is what I want. I'm not going to play games like the English teachers do and say, well, it's got to be this format and that format. person who gives me the shortest experience with the most information is the winner. Okay, do you understand what I'm getting at there? So I don't know who it was, Ben, and maybe it was you that stuck with this 5 million page format written English paper you have to do. Is is that you that's taken that class? That's Jake and Peter. Oh, Jake and Peter, yeah. Uh, so yeah, take a break from all that crap and do this. It'll be a lot more fun because you don't have to worry about all that formatting stuff. Okay, so I've told you what you need to uh, come up with, and I've told you kind of how I want it. If you want to start, if you want to write it out, write it out. If you want to add some bulleted lists, feel free to do that. If you want to do a chart with the different types and, and you know, different characteristics and do like a grid, you could do that in Excel and, uh, you know, create a grid of comparing them. I don't care how you do it. Whatever gets me the most information in the shortest amount of time is what I'm looking for because that's what we need in the industry, correct? All right, any questions? Due date? Um, July 10th. I believe that's a Wednesday. Do you like pictures? What's that? 
Do you like pictures over? Uh, well, you're probably going to want to make sure and put in the uh, the schematic diagrams for each of the types. I'm sure at some point, but I can't really see where pictures would be necessary. If you can find a way to creatively use one without wasting bandwidth, be my guest. That's up to you. All right, good question. And just so you know, I will be out on the 8th and 9th of July. I am going to um, uh, up to Grant County to do a presentation on hydraulics and pneumatics for their public utilities district. So I'll be doing some consulting for a couple of days. I'll be taking those two days off as well. So uh, once we come back from that, that's when this is this will be due. So I'm going to give you two days, two full days to work on this because you're probably procrastinators like I am. It'll be right at the end. If you're smart, you'll get it done before then, but you'll have a couple days to work on it just prior. All right. Any other questions on this whole idea right now? Otherwise, I'm going to move on to something else. Going once. All right, I'm going to clear this page. And we're going to talk about building a circuit. Why are you following me around there, Jake? <laughs> right. All right. Here is the schematic. You're going to input a 500 millivolt peak to peak. And what I would like to see on the scope is your VN. And your V out. So what should V out look like? Any idea? What should I write uh, here? The, the same but amplified. The same but amplified by how much? By a gain of 10. So what should my output voltage be? Five volts. Okay, which input is the signal going in? It's going in the negative. It's going in the negative. So this is actually going to be and negative inverted. five volts peak to peak, yeah. which means it's going to be out of phase. with the input, five volts peak to peak, 500 millivolts. 
Okay, so number one is the amplitude correct? And number two is it 180 degrees out of phase? Those are the two things that you need to check. So you should be able to get those on, uh, go ahead and build this amp. If you have, I think I gave somebody a 741 and there's probably some around. Um, I don't know, but that's, you might have to scare one up somewhere. There might be one. Uh, you in gave the, one to me. You know, kit. What's that? You gave me one. All right. So at least there's one and hopefully yeah. you can find another one somewhere. If not, uh, when I come back in after the week, uh, we can do that. But uh, hopefully you guys can work together or maybe find mm -hmm. another one or maybe check with um, check with the uh, other six. later class. Yeah, yep. check with I'll those ask. guys. They might have one left over from when they did the when they did the lab. OK, do you does everybody remember how to hook up the power supplies to make your minus 12 and your plus 12. A refresher wouldn't hurt. I kind of figured. Okay, so Let's do it and let's do the power supplies. Those power supplies are blue, so we'll do it in blue. One power supply. Two power supplies. And on both power supplies, you have a red terminal. which is your plus, and you have, oh, it gave me the wrong color again. How dare you? Black and black, right? That's what your power supplies look like. Okay, so we're going to take one wire and we're going to connect it from negative of one supply to positive of the other one. And that is going to be your ground. Okay. Then you will have a plus here that will be plus 12. It will be 12 volts higher than this ground point. Okay, this is plus 12 over here. So you got 12 volts. These are both set for 12 volts. There's your plus 12. And then down here, this will be 12 volts lower than ground. Or minus 12. Okay, so here's your ground over here. And you may have other places like you're going to refer your voltage out to ground, of course. So there's your ground connection. There's your plus 12. And there's your minus 12. So you've got all three uh, connections available. Isn't that special? Okay, does that make sense? Does that help uh, refresh your memory? Yep, thank you. Yeah. All right, so once you've finished that, if you finish that, uh, and you may not, I'm not in any big hurry to get it done. Uh, mm -hmm. The next thing will be, and I'll just put it as a note here, to make the same basic amp, but non-inverting. Same gain, okay. same yeah, 
Okay, so that's what's coming next. We'll do both of those. Um, once we've done both of those, then we'll be ready to move into filtering and active filters, which we'll talk about in our next lecture. Okay, so you have uh, a technical brief to write. Are there any questions on the technical brief? And you have a circuit to construct. Are there any questions on the uh, assignment to construct the circuit? All right, I'm going to go ahead as I have already done and stop sharing my screen. Does anyone have any questions in general before I uh, close the session? All right, then I will see you guys. This then concludes. Um, what is this then? The uh, second lecture in 109 that we've recorded or the third one? I'm not sure. I still have yet to post those. So still working on this. It's the third one. Yeah, we had comparators and then uh, the uh, gain and all that. I don't think I recorded that because everyone was there. Uh, and I, but I did record this one. So I'll go ahead and post that. That way the assignment will be there and you'll be able to refer back to the video if you need any uh, refresher on exactly what the assignment was. All right. So I, I guess I will see you guys. Uh, check back on Canvas to see what's coming up for the remainder of the week. And I will see you at our next meeting. All right. Thank you. All right. See you later. Bye, everybody. Bye.